Why is the ownership structure of the general partner so important when it comes to predicting the success of a fund management team? Well, whoever controls the general partner is the most powerful actor in any fund, subject only to the checks and balances of the investment committee and the advisory board. So whoever controls the general partner controls how the management fee is spent, controls how the carried interest is distributed and has the main role in proposing investments. So that's why whoever controls the general partner is the most powerful actor in the fund. And so understanding the ownership structure of the general partner is a fundamental part of any due diligence by an LP if they want to understand the performance of the fund manager. So we may have some GPs that are fully owned by an LP, as in the case of, say, a sponsor-driven fund. We may get some GPs that are owned by some senior partners in the team and, and not others, which may create succession issues. So understanding the dynamics of GP ownership is a key skill in assessing a fund manager.